breaking at noon. Police are looking for this man they consider armed and dangerous, saying he carjacked and shot a person in St. Peter's this morning. They also confirm he's the same person accused of shooting and killing a sheriff's deputy in eastern Illinois. Thanks for joining us. I'm Monica Adams. Ryan and Kay have the day off. The victim of that carjacking will survive. Police tell us the suspect later ditched the victim's vehicle in O'Fallon and is now driving a white Nissan pickup truck. Our Ryan Henson is live in St. Peter's to sort it all out for us. Good morning. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, Monica, we're, police are still trying to find that white pickup truck, still trying to find the owner of that truck. And that's the fourth vehicle involved in this multi-state crime spree. One of the other vehicles that were involved is this pickup truck. I mean, excuse me, this semi truck right behind me here at the Quick Trip in St. Peter's. I'll tell you how all that folds in. First, check out this map right here. So this all started about 5 a.m. in Wayne County in southeastern Illinois. The police say he shot and killed a sheriff's deputy there on Interstate 64. Four. He then took his squad car and then he drove it to Jack, that semi truck that's here in St. Peter's at the Quick Trip. And there, it's, this Quick Trip is at Highway 70 and Mid Rivers Mall Drive. At the gas station, he carjacked a Chevy Cruze, shooting the driver in the process. Now, the good news is that victim was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Later, police in O'Fallon say they found that Chevy Cruze, but say the suspect in all this obtained another vehicle a white Nissan pickup truck and they believe he's in that right now. That's what he was last seen in. So if you see one and the license plate on that truck reads a zero W E A four three call police immediately. That's the vehicle that they're looking for. But take a leather look at the suspect. So this is a picture from inside of the quick trip here in St. Peter's. We don't know the suspect's name, but we do know he at least he was last wearing that light gray hoodie, dark pants, dark shoes, and it's possibly under armor. Now, remember, if you see him or see anything suspicious, police are considering him armed and dangerous. They want people here in the area to be very careful. And I was driving over from across the bridge. There was a heavy, you know, a larger police presence just in St. Charles County in general, as folks are still trying to find this suspect and get him off the street. Remember, call police if you see anything suspicious. We're going to be following this story right here on Five in Your Side all day. We'll keep you updated. All right, thanks very much, Ryan. Again, this all started when a deputy in Wayne County, Illinois, was shot and killed overnight. Wayne County is just east of Mount Vernon near the Indiana border. Authorities have since identified that deputy as Sean Riley. Area law enforcement agencies escorted the fallen deputy to the morgue in Evansville, Indiana. And here's what we know. Police say Deputy Riley responded to a motorist assist call on Interstate 64. When another officer arrived at the scene, they noticed Riley's body and his squad car missing. The squad car was later found abandoned on Interstate 64. We will continue to follow this story throughout the day, and you can watch for updates on KSTK.com and on the Five on Your Side app. We'll also have live team coverage tonight at 4, 5, and 6.